Hi everyone, I'm going to show you today in this video the connections and some walkthrough of the software of uh, the, the Kisa USB VNA. And uh, this is where you can find the information about this uh, uh, hardware. And uh, one thing good about this product uh, is that it came out, they came out with the standardized interface software across um, varieties of uh, VNA. Um, if you familiarize with the PNA from Keysight, um, this uh, they are applying the same software to this uh, box, this uh, USB series uh, VNA. So how do you go? How how do you get the software? Is actually go to Keysight.com and look just look for P five thousand, and it will lead you to this uh, page, and then just go to support driver firmware and software, and then we can just download this. So it's free for you to run um, without any hardware because the license is usually tied to the hardware. So for any of these products, so as you can see here. So I've downloaded and installed on my PC and this is how you're going to look like. So when you first run it, the, um, because obviously there's no hardware connected to my PC, if not, you're going to see your selections here. So for now, um, we I'm going to show you some of the things that you can do with the VNA simulator. So just click uh, run. So here, as you can see, like I mentioned this now, you can actually select um, any of the products, any of the uh, PNA uh, or the vector networkizer product in Keysight. And um, the feel for the software is just the same. So this is a PXI um, that's on Pixie chassis and streamline is for the uh, USB VNA. So let's choose a 20 gig version. Let's click run. And the number of parts is actually depending on the model that you choose. Uh, so for this P5004 is only, we only have uh, two parts. Oops, it's a bit too small. Let me close this up a bit so that you can see it better. There we go. So you can just drag and um, yeah, just just drag around. So one thing that you can do, um, one particular thing that you can do is um, even if without any hardware uh, connected, you can set up as what you want to see when you're running the test. For example, let's do a four window. Um, so custom deep display, let's turn it on, not that. Um, window setup, window title, not this. Uh, layout, yep. So we can do this, uh, let's four windows. So window two, we can do, a, we can insert a new trace, um, and then we change the format to, sorry, measurements to S21, and then uh, then we have trace three and then trace four. You can actually drag to trace four just in this way. So this is how you uh, play around. Um, and this one, you just do this. Okay. So in essence, um, this is where um, user can get familiarized with uh, how it looks like, how you're going to operate the whole system when there's a hardware. But even with the hardware, you're able to set up um, the look, uh, the feel that you want. And again, I'm going to show you again how you're going to you are able to drag the traces um, as you as you seems uh, fit. So um, let's say we want to make it to the side, the right side of this uh, this window. We can just drag and put it here. And let's say you want to move this to the top of here. Just for example, um, just just so that you can see. Um, what we can do with it. So let's say we change it to Smith chart. There we go. And once you're comfortable with that, and we can actually save the state um, into your local PC, and when there's a hardware, you can just recall this state. Or you can do it the other way around, is that um, you have a state from your colleague, uh, and you want to, based on the state that's been saved, and you want to customize it to what you want to see, so you can just record the state and then customize it and then go back to safe state. Okay, there are a few things that you can do, um, especially without the hardware. One of these calibrations, when you see all this gray out stuff, means that 
no, you can't do anything. Um, changes on that. It makes sense, right? You need a e cow, different e cow. Has, I, I mean, if different cow, cow set has different um performance. We can't just simulate uh the default things. And um, other than that, um, things like power, uh, frequency sweep, um, mainly is just to protect you, um, your de device on the test when you have a chance to connect it to hardware. Um, just worry that without the physical hardware, you might exit that um, the power handling for that device on the test. So other than that, um. Let's see what we can do. Trigger, no, we can't do trigger. So mainly it's just for the setup. And um, so I'm going to connect the hardware right now. So we'll just follow on the rest of the video. So these are hardware connections. Let's start with the uh, power. Um, so this one here. Sorry for that. Yeah, there we go. So there's only one way of uh, putting in. Uh, there's a guide pin. And uh, there's a USB-C here, and just for this area, and that's it. So just wait for the amber lights on, I mean set the power is there, just click on. So for the cow kit, we just leave it for now, until the unit is powered up. Then we're going to connect it to the back of here. So with this, we're going to connect it to our laptop. It's recommended to you have the uh, USB 3 USB even though some laptop still work with uh, USB 2 so after, after connecting uh, the hardware to the PC so this is what we can do is just select um, the one that pop out on the selections um, if you have one unit there's only one selections if two units you want to do it together then you have to highlight both units together so there's a guide for that. Um, again, just search through um, uh, internet. Just type in the model number and say multiple unit. And most likely you land, land in the um, keysight.com website. So just wait for it to boot up. And once it's done, so there we go. It will look exactly like um, having hardware. And as you can see, there's none simulator on top. Uh, on the left hand, uh, the top of the left corner. So it shows that these are hardware connections. So this way you can run calibrations. And um, so again, this is not found uh, because the eCal is not connected to the hardware. So I'm going to connect it to the hardware right now. And I'm going to close this soon. Um, just give me a moment. Yep, I'll, can, I'll cancel it and um, run the cow again. And, sorry, wrong choice. Cow, other cow, e cow. So you can see, um, so the e cow is shown there. Um, unfortunately, I have to darken, I mean, uh, cover the serial number for safety. Um, then so that yeah you can recall back the state um they save um prior to connecting the hardware and as you can see um when I show the options um there we go we have a whole long lot whole long list of um, options that ties to that uh, hardware unit so yeah you can recall the state so that you save you can save the state and this way you I would recommend to read through the help file. Um, there's a lot of information um, inside. All right, thanks for watching.